Welcome back to Just Sit Pilates. Today's a Pilates and Strength Glutes Workout. This workout can be done with no equipment or if you have ankle weights. I've got a set of two pound ankle weights I'll be using for all 20 of the exercises. We'll be doing lying and kneeling work. Really targeting those glutes today. It's a much requested body part for people to work on. So I hope you'll enjoy this workout and let's get right into it. Let's start today's workout with some simple bridging. Feet are hip distance apart, they're parallel. We're gonna bridge up. Let's begin, so come down. And then as you come up, squeeze those glutes. Come down, let's change our foot placement. Put your heels right next to each other. Your feet are going to look like a V. Same thing, we're gonna do bridging. So bridge up, down, and lift. And let's begin. And come down. Let's add on. So we're going to bridge up, lift the heels, drop the heels, and then come back down. Bring your feet closer if it's hard to lift those heels. Let's begin. The ankle weights are adding nothing <laughs> here. We're just warming up the glutes, the hamstrings, and then in different positions and in single leg, you'll feel that difference of that added weight. And come down. Let's bring your knees in, rock side to side. Legs come back out. Same thing, we're gonna turn the feet out. Heels do not need to be together this time. Bridge up, lift those heels, drop, come back down. Let's begin. Come up, lift, drop, and lower. Come down. Now keep your feet in parallel. We're gonna lift those heels up. Keep them up and just go down and lift. Adding a little height there, a little further to go. Let's see again. You feel any cramping in your hamstrings, walk your feet closer to you. Bring your feet down, knees come in, rock side to side. Let's sit up. We're gonna get into a kneeling position now. Now we're gonna work more onto the side of the glutes. So I'm going to come down on the fo my forearm and then my opposite leg is going to be lifting up. We'll start by lifting and lowering down. Let's begin. You can also do this upright on both arms if you feel like it's bothering your shoulder. Thank you. 
I feel this in both glutes. <laughs> Maybe because mine are sore from yesterday, but I feel it. Good, come up, let's switch sides. Onto the forearm, other leg is out. Turn, we wanna be turned out, and let's lift. So lift and lower. And sit back to rest. Coming out. Same arm position. Turn that foot out. Now we're going to bend it in and stretch it back out. Let's see again. So in and out. If only you knew how heavy my hair felt like this. <laughs> so much hair. Bring that leg down. We'll go to the other side. Down on that forearm, other leg comes out. Lift up, bend, and straighten. Let's begin. Bring that leg down, sit down, sit, sitting back. Coming back out, same starting position. This time we're gonna lift up and then do small circles. So circling the leg, trying to maintain that height if you can. Let's see again. You'll feel this in your supporting leg as well, so the knee that's on the mat. Bring that leg down. Other side. Point that foot, bring it up, circles backwards.
So much burning. Whew. Rest. Come back out. You're doing great. You got this. Same position. Lifting up, now circles forward. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's begin. You can always stop early if you need to. Leg comes down and rest. Back out. Leg comes up, circles forward. If you feel this in your low back at all, make sure you're drawing your abs in so that you don't arch to get that leg up. The bird, come down to rest. Back out, last one. We're changing positions after this. A lift up, we're just gonna hold. Let's begin. Let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come down to rest. Back up. These are not too bad, right? Maybe just the pulsing at the end. Lift to start, hold. Let's begin. Pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come down. Great, let's 
come up. We're gonna get onto our backs now and do some single leg bridging. Let's start by bridging up. Bring one leg into tabletop. We're gonna stay up, tap the toe, come back up. Let's be in. If you feel any strain in your knee, try to walk your foot a little further away from your glute. Come down. If you feel like it's your glutes are already maxed out, go ahead and take those ankle weights off. Absolutely okay to do that. Come up, other side. Let's begin. So tap, come back up. Foot comes down and come down. Come back up, same leg position. This time we're going to come down and come back up. Let's see in. Foot comes down. Let's come down in between, get that energy back up. Bridge up, tabletop leg. Let's begin, down and up. Bring that leg down, come down. Legs come into rest. Working on endurance again. Bridge up, hold. Legs gonna come out, back to tabletop. Let's begin. So out and lift. It's at about the same height as the opposite knee. I like these better, <laughs> they're easier. Leg comes down, come down in between. Bridge up, leg starts in tabletop. Let's begin. 
out and in. Leg comes down, let's all come down. Let's bridge back up, point your leg up towards the ceiling, come down, press up. Let's begin. So if you notice what I'm doing here, we're going back and forth. These ones are harder, shortening and lengthening the glute. And then we mix in those more endurance where we do those holds. <laughs> Can't keep your leg fully straight? Keep it in tabletop, that's fine. Legs come down. <laughs> Feel it so much. Other side, leg up to the ceiling or in tabletop, and let's begin. So coming down, bridge back up. Leg comes down, let's come down. One left, then we'll move on to kneeling again. Different arm position though. Those legs out, let's come out again, bridging up. Start with your leg on a diagonal. You're gonna lower and lift. Let's begin. Lower to a comfortable height for you. Don't lower it so much that it might get into your low back. I'm feeling this in the quads too. Bring that foot down, come down. I'm so hot, I'm dying. Bridge up again, extend the leg out, let's lower and lift. Leg comes down. Okay, let's come up for some kneeling. On to the knees now. If you're getting too fatigued, you can definitely take those ankle weights off. Onto the wrist, if that's gonna bother you, you can also go onto your forearms. Start with one leg out. We're going to lift and lower down. The top of the foot is pointed towards the ground. Let's dig in. Thank you. 
Good, take a few moments to rest. Other leg out now. Let's begin. Be careful to not sink in your hip, which means sitting into that hip, the knee that's on the ground. Make your abs work harder by staying right on top. Knee comes down, let's rest. Next one, flex your foot. Knee is hovering. We're going to come up and come back down. Here we go. Knee comes down, a few moments to rest. Opposite knees hovering, flex the foot. Here we go. Knee comes down, let's sit back to rest. Just three left. We're gonna do that side glutes. Pick your knee up, flex your foot out to the side, come back down. Let's begin. This one you gotta be really careful of not sinking into that hip. So don't come up as, as high if you feel like that's going to happen. Bring that knee down, take a few moments to rest. Opposite knee comes up, flex that foot. Let's go out to the side. Please work your shoulders too. Your shoulders are supporting you. So if you feel it burning there, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're doing everything right.
and rest. Coming out, we're gonna finish strong here. Two left, lift the leg up, circles with the leg. Here we go. So try to keep your leg the same height the whole time and then just do small circles. Bring that knee in, a few moments to rest. Let's lift the opposite leg and circle. Knees come down. We got one left. Okay, come up, especially if your shoulders, if you're feeling it through the shoulders. Last one. We're gonna hold again, and then we're gonna pulse at the end. So lift up, and we're just gonna hold. And pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knee comes down. Last side, almost done. Opposite leg comes out, let's lift, finish strong, and hold. Let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come down. Burn. Okay, let's take those ankle weights off and stretch. 
Let's start with a hamstring stretch first. Bring the legs out in front of you and then fold forward and we'll hold. Come up, let's do a butterfly stretch. Knees, knees are open wide, feet are together. Fold forward, you can reach even further if that feels good for you. Come up. Let's get onto our backs to stretch the glutes. It's gonna feel, it's gonna feel like a lot. <laughs> bring one leg across. You can keep it like this or you can bring your knee closer to you to deepen that stretch. We'll hold. Switch legs. Bring that leg down, come up. All right, and you're all set. If growing glutes or having more rounded glutes is a goal for you, make sure you train your glutes at least two to three times per week, either in a workout like this or in any of my full body workouts. I almost always include glute work. I hope you enjoy this workout and I'll see you next time.